think about it for a minute, analyze what normal, ordinary communication is. I want to communicate with you. I consult my internal dictionary and I carefully choose words out of my dictionary and I string them together according to the rules of English syntax. I then activate, uh, if I've done things in the right order, I then activate my vocal apparatus. I impart a vibration, an acoustical wave, onto the surrounding medium, which is air. This vibration moves across space. It enters through the holes on both sides of your head as a pressure wave. You then, analyzing this incoming waveform, rush to your dictionary and you break up this incoming wave signature and attempt to map it to words in your dictionary. Now, if your dictionary and my dictionary are the same, then you will, lo and behold, reconstruct my thought in the confines of your brain-mind system. But notice the caveat that was slipped in there if your dictionary and my dictionary are the same. But they never are. I mean, maybe they are if you ask, can you tell me what time it is, or would you please turn down the stereo? But if you're talking about anything of interest, depth, ambiguity, or complexity, then chances are uh, your dictionary and my dictionary only generally uh, assimilate to congruency with each other. So then, uh, ambiguity creeps in. You think you understand. I think you understand. And on that shaky foundation, we begin to build further semi-understandings. And then we drift off in the general direction of misapprehension, eventually. So it's very clear that communication of the ordinary sort, small mouth noises transduced across acoustical space and symbolic notations thereof, have created the global civilization that we're living inside of. 